thank you for joining us here today. Earlier this afternoon, Donald Trump was arraigned by a Manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts. This case is an abomination. You know, it's obviously political. Seven years to try to come up with this case. They're just wrong on the law. The only crime that Donald Trump is being prosecuted for is the crime of running for president. Political persecution at the highest level. They've quite frankly given up on trying to beat him at the polls. Either going to steal it or stop it by law firm. A Democrat prosecutor elected on a get Trump platform. What's going on here is a disgusting disgrace. It is war on Trump. It is war on the Republican Party. And it is a war on the Republic. This case is the weakest case I've seen in 60 years of teaching, practicing, and writing about criminal law. And I doubt the New York indictment would have been brought against a defendant whose name was not Donald Trump. This judge, I mean, you don't need a prosecutor if you have a judge like this. This judge is not on the level. It's a terrible case, but the judge has been pretty much a rubber stamp on everything that uh, Bragg has wanted to do. They, they're perverting the system of justice. You know, that's where the danger lies, the corruption and subversion of our institutions by the left. This is the Democrats' entire strategy to confine President Trump to a dirty criminal courtroom and keep him off the campaign trail where he can bring his winning message to voters across this country. New York has become a legal banana republic. They are so determined to get Donald Trump. Look, convicting Donald Trump, that's all they have. I think they have no cards. And they're depending upon Trump getting convicted. That Trump train doesn't show any signs of slowing down. The only verdict that matters is the verdict at the ballot box. Yes, that's right. The only verdict that matters is the verdict at the ballot box. Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. So today I really wanted to share this Trump ad of no cards. But before we get further into my commentary, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also visit childlightcandles.com. This is a Christian and veteran-owned company where 100% of their candles are made here in the good old U.S. of A, and they give 25% of their profit to veterans and their families. Don't forget to input the discount code LINDAB. Now, Yes, you saw that no cards ad, and it just goes through like a little snippet of everything that Donald Trump is having to face. Now, he has said repeatedly, Donald Trump has said repeatedly that they're not after him, they're after us, and he is standing in the way. It could get me emotional. I'm going to try not to be emotional like I was yesterday. I am going to try not to do it. But this man, for whatever you think about him, for whatever brashness he has, you know, he's not very, he's not a smooth, slick talking politician, which is part of his appeal. Because a lot of people that talk smooth are evil and they're dishonest. They're so disingenuous. When you have someone that maybe you, you know, rough around the edges, maybe not so smooth, that it just really tells it like it is, a lot of times they are genuine. And therefore, the right thing. And Fareed, Fareed Zakaria of CNN even said this would not be happening to anyone else if their name was not Donald Trump. Isn't that insane that this is happening to this man? Because you know what? And it's also been stated they can't win fair, they have to use lawfare or the CH word. <laughs> they can't do it rhymes with eat okay they're going to do that or lawfare that's what they're going to do because they can't win against him fair and square that's been proven they are desperate they are awful because right now the demon rats have colluded together and you know what i noticed too the democrats love to use and I hate to bring up ethnicity, but I got to do it because it's the truth. Demon rats, the Democrat Party, love to use Black people to do their dirty work. Three out of the four that are coming after Donald Trump are Black. You've got Alvin Bragg, you've got Letitia James, and Fonnie Willis. Of course, the other one is Jack Smith, but three out of four are Black. You think that's any coincidence? Because... 
over these horribly led cities are Black Democrats, just saying, pretty much over every major city in America. It is ran by a Black Democrat and they use Black people. They use, uh, see, I got somebody that look like you and that person is patting their pockets and not helping their voters. That's a true tactic from back in the day during slave times with the overseer method. You know, you, you pay the Black person, you let them have some prestige to keep the other, to keep the other slaves in line. That's the demon rat party for you. That's what they do. They've always done it. Nothing new under the sun. Isn't that what the Bible says? Nothing new under the sun with these demons. Yes, they got Fonnie Willis about that phone call looking for 11,779 votes. And I listened to the entire one hour phone call in the in its full context. Donald Trump didn't say make up votes. He meant go find the votes that you overlooked that you did not count. But if, of course, you know, they're trying to get him. And our rhino, Brad Roffensberger, Secretary of State, was part of that. Roffensberger, I don't like you. You evil. And you gotta, rip. you better repent. And you better do the right thing. Because God is watching and he is not pleased with you. He is not pleased. Now you take that. You better not take it to your grave. You better repent. Because what you did was dis disastrous and cause this man to have to go through all this hell. Stacey Abrams and Hillary Clinton, they questioned the results. Hillary Clinton was behind the Russia, Russia, Russia because she was ticked off her behind, couldn't win in 16. Now, 16 was a fair election. And I'm not saying that because I like Donald Trump now because I was upset that he won. I wanted Hillary to win. But I'm glad that she didn't now. And all these hoaxes, proven to be hoaxes, so we see that there is a two-tier justice system. When they are demon rats, they get away with everything. And the and when Republicans do anything, they twist and warp what they say to mean something that they know they didn't really mean. And they didn't they don't play the whole clip. And they or if they do play it, they'll find something and twist it. <clears throat> they do it with Republicans, MAGA Republicans. They won't do it with a rhino. No. Because a rhino is really a Democrat in hiding. <laughs> Republican in name only. That's what it stands for. And I don't like where we're going. New York City has become a banana republic in and of itself. It has become a war ground, a battleground for injustice. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has become a battleground for injustice. New York, you all are awful. Look at this. Ugh. And you look at the states that are ran by Dems, they're in the ground. Some Republican states as well. But the ones that are going after Donald Trump, either they're led by rhinos or Dems. And, you know, you can't get any more bluer than places like New York and California. But New York is the one going after Donald Trump over something that is made up. Can you believe something like a legal expense where he paid a lawyer? His lawyer at the time, Michael Cohen, it was a legal expense. What else are you going to call it? He was his lawyer, not his fixer, his lawyer. And his bookkeeper wrote it down as a legal expense. And they're going to say falsification of records and 34 counts and upgraded it to a felony and extended the statute of, lim statute of limitations, changing laws as they go along. I pray, God, I'm praying. I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to do some Vaseline prayers. Well, you have you you on your knees so long, <laughs> they hurt. You got to put some Vaseline on. I'm going to pray. I don't care. I am going to pray. God intervene because y'all demons, y'all wrong. The demon rats, you wrong. They know that they cannot win fairly. You remember what happened a few years ago in November. You know. Look, at you know, it wasn't right. And now they said, okay, we're going to put this together. And what happened, you know, in January a few years ago, Nancy Pelosi didn't want the uh, National Guard to come in after Donald Trump ordered it on January the 4th. And then a little cl a clip came out that really proves that Nancy Pelosi wasn't right with what she did. She told on herself, you all may have seen it. 
And Donald Trump brought it up last night in debate. I know you all saw that debate. Donald Trump was clear and concise and brought up good points about the border and the economy and crime. And, you know, Joe Biden has done a horrible job. I don't know what they're thinking. I mean, the Democrats are trying to destroy this country. They really are. But the Democrats, I do I do abhor them, but they do fight for what they want. I want the Republicans to get fight in them. Not, of course, I'm not saying physically fight for somebody that said, ooh, she's talking about fighting. Because you know they love to do that with us, twist our words. But um, just try harder, Republicans, mega Republicans, try harder. You know, the demon rats are colluding together and they figured out a way to get in the Republican Party as rhinos. They're not true Republicans. So y'all, y'all got to fight. Because all the Democrats and half the Republicans are evil, but you have some good Republicans, but something needs to happen because I need Republicans to try harder. The Democrats are very pervasive, but in a bad way, they're evil. They literally want to turn us into a communist country. And it was stated in that clip, they can't, they got to use lawfare or they got to, it rhymes with eat starts with a C, C-H. I don't even want to say it because I'm trying not to get hurt on my channel, but they got to do it. They got to do one or the other. And now they've chosen to use lawfare. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what they're going to do because they are in determined not to let Donald Trump get back in that White House. It's going to happen anyway. And what are you all going to do? He's not going to seek retribution. That came up in the debate. Donald Trump said he would have a right based on what he's been through, but he said it would be horrible for the country. And so everything he says, they twisted. Jim Crow Joe brought that up. And Jim Crow Joe said, you said this about suckers and losers, twisting his words. Actually, he didn't even say suckers and losers. So everybody is going to twist if you are Republican, remember what they did to Byron Donalds. You said Jim Crow. And he was just using it as a point of historical reference. Oh my gosh. I mean, these people are prolific. They will do any, and they haven't learned that it's not working yet. <laughs> They're still going to take it to the grave. They're going to do evil. And they, and they see that Donald Trump's poll numbers are going up. And what they're doing is not working. It's not working. And the desperation on the Democrat side is real. It is real, real. Now, Donald Trump's poll numbers are up. Jim Crow Joe had a horrible performance in the debate. And um, yeah, and plus, not just in the debate, his administration, his entire administration is a travesty. And even, I mean, I can't believe, I know I probably said it already, but Fareed Zakaria even said if his name wasn't Donald Trump, he wouldn't be going through this. This is lawfare against someone that whose crime is just he's running for president. And Donald Trump, again, has said they're after you, but he's standing in the way. They want to control this country and turn us communist. New York, you are a hot mess doing this to this man. You're going to reap what you sow. Yes, you are going to reap what you sow. God is real. You might be mocking God right now, you demon rats, but he is coming and you can't hide. You gnashing your teeth. That's what you're doing. All the foolishness coming after this man. Yo, it's shameful what our country has turned into. It is absolutely shameful. Okay, I ran it long enough. Thank you all for watching this far. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure your notifications work. Also visit childlightcandles.com and input the discount code Linda B. This is a Christian and veteran-owned company where 25% of their profits go to veterans and their families. We got to take care of our veterans because <laughs> Jim Crow Joe sure as heck isn't. You all be blessed, love God, your families, these United States of America, and as they always say, march on, warriors.